<clears throat> yep. I'm here with uh, Vince Martell, and I just got a chance to check out uh, the demo for Faded, which I think comes out next week. Yep, uh, it's going to be out next week on HTC Vive and Oculus Rift on uh, April 28th, and we're going to be a uh, launch title for uh, PlayStation VR in October. Okay, I know there's been a lot of speculation that the PlayStation VR can't really handle some of the fuller games, so I think Faded is sort of something that would that kind of counters that opinion or counters that, yeah. that viewpoint. Yeah, well, PlayStation is a pretty... Uh, that powerful pl platform. Uh, obviously, uh, our, our our PCs can be a bit a bit a bit more powerful. But uh, Epic is also we're we're on, uh, with Unreal Four, and Epic is doing a really good job to make sure that everything runs smoothly uh, on all platforms. And there's going to be some optimization, but with the art style that we're using, a more cartoony cartoony feels, uh, it really helps us. So people won't see a difference between the platforms. How long do you envision someone's play session for Faded might be? Like what kind of chunks do you think people will play it in? Uh, well, the the entire experience is an hour and a half to two hour, uh, but we've we've separated the the uh, the, the story in five act. So there's a bit they're all between like the smallest one is the one you've tried, so ten minutes. The longest one will probably be an half an hour. Okay. But it's there's a fade to black uh, and lets you like. You could remove your headset and come back later if you if you want to, or you can just like fly through it if you want to. No, I just played it with mist and scents yeah. and, and rains, yeah. and like I had the full faded experience. Is there any way anybody can replicate that at home? Probably. Uh, we're actually going to be releasing a, a making of uh, video of the boot uh, the week after launch. So. Uh, people can, can take a look at it. We are, we are, we also have a developer blog that we're uh, updating uh, regularly, so we might post a few uh, a few things in there if, if, if people are interested to know more about the, uh, the booth. Talk about everything around. Let's talk about the game itself, the story behind the game. Yeah. Um, well, Faded is is interactive uh, action adventure game that focuses on storytelling and emotions. Uh, you're gonna play a Viking uh, during uh, Ragnarok, which is the end of the days for the the Vikings. But you're not a hero. You're you're a regular guy, a family man. You have a wife, a child, and you want to protect them. So this is the quest of of, of 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 a father that will do anything to protect his family. And there's a, there's it's a story of exile as well. Your, your village was destroyed, and you you, you want to find safety. But the connection you build with your family is what's really important in this game. I'm a father myself. I wanted to re recreate that, that, that protection of kin and, and like uh, uh, putting your life in front of somebody else. And VR is so powerful for this. It feels like you are there, that it's your story. And I saw people trying to reach out to grab the little girl in real life. And that's, that's just beautiful for me but because this is what we try to achieve. Yeah, I have to say, um, when the, the I don't want to spoil it, but when there was an interaction with some birds, yeah. that was a little airy. <laughs> just their size, period. Just the fact that you're sitting in this game and you really you look down, it's like I'm sitting in I'm in this world. It's just like I haven't done a whole lot of VR, so I feel like my brain is still. I'm, I'm, I finished it about seven minutes ago, and my brain is still kind of reeling from Processing. all the input that I that I took in. It's, and I, I think you're right. I think 10, 15 minute chunks is probably an appropriate yeah. uh, the more, the more, interval. The more you do VR, the more you, you can do. Uh, yeah. we, we can do uh, like four hours in a row because wow. we, we've been we've been doing it for two years now. But like for uh, somebody that starts with VR, maximum twenty minutes would, uh, would, uh, would be my recommendation. But this is why we built it that way. Okay. I, I, I'm just I'm very impressed. I, Thank I, you. I, I feel like Thank I had you. the. The best treatment. When you showed me the fan in the mist, I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> okay, they really went all out. Yeah. I mean, I guess the next thing is to have an actual horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but the, like, even without this, this is adding a, a to, to the experience. But uh, I, I had people without all this setup. Tell I, I was feeling the wind. Your body, your body really believe believe that it's happening, and, and it tricks your brain. And so so so. I, I really feel that that, that, that that VR is a unique uh, opportunity to tell stories and, and bring people inside a world that they wouldn't be able to see otherwise. And I think the fact that I played um, Fable the Journey. Which one? I played Fable the Journey yeah. for, uh, for the uh, Xbox 360. Yeah. 
we don't know how, how great that game was. So I, I think in my mind, I sat down and compared it to that and went, and it seemed that much more impressive because that also, wasn't very impressive. Also, <laughs> so it's just like, my comparison is like, no, I really feel like I'm steering this horse. Like, I, I feel like I'm really there. I really enjoyed it, and um, I guess I, well, the next question is, how long have you been working on the game? Before I, uh, for two years now. Uh, well, two years of, of, of thinking and building the story, but uh, of actual development for me, a year and a half. Uh, and we've built this experience with VR in mind. It wasn't meant for any other platform, so it, it's, it's optimized and, 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 and built with VR in, in, in mind. Would there be any reason you would ever take that and morph it into something that's not on, that's not for VR? No. It was no. like away from it, but if, no. if the people were loud enough. This is, this is a <laughs> VR experience. We, right. we, might, we might build uh, other experiences in the universe of Beta that's not VR, but for now we're sticking with, uh, with VR. Okay, and your character is mute, correct? Yep. Now, they're mute, be- like, I guess your answers to the questions kind of nod. Is that, how much does that change how things, how uh, things there, there, There's some difference out. in dialogue, but there's no, like, huge branch, branching okay. in the story. Uh, we, we, but there's definitely stuff that, that will uh, happen, mostly in dialogues, depending on what you say. Okay. Well, thank you. I had a, I had a great time with it, and uh, good Thank luck you. with the launch. Thank you.